All right, welcome to another episode. Uh, today we're going to be talking about menu zero in the Unidrive driveline. Now, before you run away and say, I know everything in the world about menu zero, I bet you you don't. Uh, we're going to cover five, and uh, if you do know everything, let me know. See you a bit. The first thing you might not know is that you can completely delete menu zero. This is pretty handy as it allows you to prevent the user from changing anything in the drive from the keypad. Let me show you how to do that. First thing you do is come over here to parameters, open up menu zero and open up menu 22. I'm going to set them side by side so you can see how this works. Menu 22 sets up menu 0. So if I come over here, this will set up parameter 1 in menu 0. Right now parameter 1 is tied to parameter 1.007. Parameter 1.007 is the minimum reference clamp. That's why when you come over here you see minimum reference clamp. Okay, so from the keypad, the user can, of course, change the minimum value here to whatever they want. So they could set it to 10 RPM, right? But what if we didn't want them to be able to change any of these? All we have to do is come over here and set them all to zero. See how it deleted over here? Here, let's delete another one. Now there are no parameters in menu zero. All right, now there are no parameters in menu zero, but that doesn't keep them from going to other places in the drive. So the last step is to go to menu 11, come to parameter 1144 and change the security status to menu zero. Now the keypad can only go to menu zero and there's nothing in menu zero. The next thing you probably realize is that you can set up only a few parameters for the individual to edit or view. For example, I could allow them to only view things that they can't edit. For example, the DC bus value. Now they can see the DC bus voltage. Now they can see the analog input one and so forth. So you can add read only parameters and they can use it for debugging purposes. All right. So the next thing you might not realize is that you can dynamically change these on the fly if you use Machine Control Studio. This can be done either with the onboard PLC or with, of course, your MCI 210 module or 200 module. So here you can see a simple little ladder program. I have uh, two ladder rungs. The first ladder rung is tied to uh, parameter 8002, which is my digital input number two. And the bottom one is also tied to digital input number two. And what's going to happen is when uh, my digital input number two is on, it's going to show some stuff. And when it's off, it's going to hide some stuff. And so what this is basically doing is it's calling these show and hide actions below here. And this is all you have to do to make your program hide parameters in menu zero at certain times, right? For example, you may have a time when you want it to just allow the user to set up stuff or not. For example, while it's running, you may choose to lock them out, not let them change anything. But when the e-stop's pressed, you may want to allow them to edit the settings. So here on the show stuff, all I'm doing is uh, in menu 22, parameter one, I set it to the parameter that I want it to be able to connect to, right? And the same thing's true of the next parameter. Over here, I'm, I'm setting them to zero to basically delete them from the menu zero. And I'll show you what this looks like in just a second. Let's download this to the MCI module. All right, so you can see from my ladder logic over here, when I turn this on, these parameters get set to those values. And when I turn it off, they get set to zero. Let's see what this looks like from connect. 
So over here on the right side, you can see menu 22 is all set to zeros and there is nothing in menu zero for the user to edit from the keypad. If I turn on the switch, you can see that these of course updated and now there are items for the user to change. Now you can use this to lock people out at certain times or not. And of course you're not limited to only setting up just these two parameters, but you have a total of 80 parameters you could set up here. In fact, you could do a setup where they only have one parameter and based on whatever they set up in that parameter, different settings show up. So for example, maybe the application is a pump, but you don't know it's a pump. And so they, the very first parameter, they set a one, which represent pump, and then they set it to one and then you populate a whole bunch of things for just a pump application. Another thing you can use menu 04 for is to increase the speed of Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP IP. So one of the things that Modbus struggles with is settings that are all over the place. For example, you might want to read settings from the analog input card, right? You might want to read this. And you might also want to read something from menu 5 like the DC bus voltage. And you might want to read something from menu 10, which is drive is healthy. Well, in Modbus, that is three different reads. And so that slows down the network. So what you can do is at the end of menu zero or menu 22, you can set up a brick of data for just reads and a brick of data just for writes. So if I wanted to read a bunch of stuff, I would come to maybe parameter 60 here and start entering all of the parameters I want to read. So as you can see here, I have set up four words to read from. You could set up as many as you want. Uh, the drive is limited to 10 in a row as a single read. So you can read 10 parameters in a block or write to 10 parameters in a block. That's the biggest block size, but it will speed up your Modbus a lot if you do it this way. For example, one write takes up about 12 milliseconds. So I can write to 10 parameters in 12 milliseconds, or I can write to one parameter in 12 milliseconds. It's all the same when you're talking about Modbus TCP. Hey, it looks like you made it to the end of the episode. If you liked it and would like us to keep making more, please subscribe, comment, and watch others. This helps us know that the content's good. And uh, as always, see you next time.